Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit. And today I just wanted to put my massive heartfelt sort of everything out to the people in New York and um, I've been hearing about it on the news here. So I'm in this park in London and it just reminds me of the baseball park in Central Park. And you'll see here, there's a big BT, it's a big telephone tower which sends out basically where you can get your connection for your phone. So that's the message today. At the top of this tower, there's actually a rainbow. It goes, it changes colors at the top of the tower. And so just to say that, you know, this connection that we have as Twin Flames is so amazing. And yesterday I was asked to channel some letters from um, a girl and her twin and then uh, there, his, he's actually got children from, uh, pre, you know, his own children. And she asked me to channel from their children, from his children. And so um, basically, you know, this is, you know, so basically, yeah, it was just so lovely. And it, on the day that that happened in New York as well, it just really hit home again what we're here to do as twin flames and about grounding this unconditional love onto the planet and you know the children were very clear about saying we're creating a rainbow shards of light and it was just yeah it was just so amazing so as i'm walking through this park i suddenly realized at the top of that communication tower where people you know literally get their phone signal is a rainbow and it changes rainbow lights at night so that is the message today to say don't forget that your connection is so strong and the stronger that you stay in that love vibration the stronger that it pulsates throughout the whole universe and your twin absolutely feels that so if you're feeling like anger towards them or frustration towards them then it's all about lifting yourself up out of that and looking at your soul connection and where you've come on this journey together and how much they've pr you've progressed, what you've learned, all of those things, because <clears throat> that is what keeps you in the love vibration. And so just, you know, my heart goes out to all of those people in New York. Um, and, you know, I heard this morning that there was 11, I think the number 11 came up and I'm not quite sure why, but I heard the number 11. So I was like, you know what, this is why it's so important that we keep on track, right? Because actually, oh, and just as I say that, look, the sun's breaking through the clouds. Oh, so yeah, that's why it's so important to stay on track because that's what we're here to do is to literally raise light on the planet. And your part in that is so important. Every single one of us, a big connection of love literally you know what i see in healings is a lot uh, has been recently is about you know people i see them together and they're f they're flying around the earth sprinkling gold around the earth and so that is and creating a web of gold around the earth and so that's what you just have to think that's what you're doing with your energy and with your love vibration and you know if you're getting stuck in the drama of your own you know, toing and froing or whatever it is in your own twin flame dynamic, then move yourself out of your individual dynamic to the bigger picture. And as soon as you do that, it shifts your vibe because you realize that you're here to be a love warrior. And that is where, you know, you can really, really then be courageous in love. All right, well, that's the message. I hope that helps. If you want to come to me for a letter, I'm going to read out those letters, but I haven't got them here. So I will read out some letters because they have been amazing. If you were the, and the love letter book again, the magic has just been amazing. So many people have said, no way. All of these things have happened since getting the book and since using the book, you know, so that's why it's so perfect because it really does tap you into that divine collective energy tap you into the energy of your twin and then if that door feels like it's been closed for a while it allows it to be open so that they can give you messages everywhere right somebody says that in the healing that I did for them I think it came through with the 22 which is the sign of keep the faith and hope she went to the shop later and she never uses normally cash 
and the cashier gave her a banknote which had 22 written on it in red ink and so I was like well you know that's perfect right because not only that's giving you two messages that's saying keep the faith and hope because my spirit is right here with you but also keep using that twin spirit to create abundance in your life because you know money is a vibration and it's moving up into the vibration of love so if you elevate your vibration to be the highest vibration of love unconditional love then basically money and abundance will flow to you so just a beautiful message and that's why these things are just insanely cool right and this you know this just really reminds me of central park which is why i thought i'll do the video from here and so look for the beauty in everything and just remember your twin spirit is there all around you everywhere so use them use them to help you create the life of your dreams and trust 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 that then everything will happen at the right time because there's a bigger divine plan at play to spread rainbow light all around the world all right hope that helps if you want to come to me for a healing or for a reading or for a letter it's only ten dollars and i will speak to you soon okay take care bye